This is the University for Professional Studies hostel where a number of delegates have been lodging uh, ahead of the delegates conference and the election proper sometime later today. Out here there are a number of them from a number of regions. I'm told at least four regions have representations who are lodging here at the UPSA hostel. And when you come here, you see banners of some of the aspirants. You see from the uh, chairmanship position, you see the organizer position, you can see you know, the general secretary position, all those banners heavily displayed here. Let me engage some of the delegates. Uh, I'll, I'll understand from them how preparations have gone so far and whether or not all is set for the event later today. Thank you for joining us. Please, what's your name? My name is Fusu Emmanuel. Okay, and you are? Uh, assistant Secretary, Constituency Assistant Secretary from Christian Wuni Valley okay. Constituency. Okay, great. So tell me, since last night, what's been happening here? I see a number of your colleagues are still out here this early, even before 6 o'clock. Yes, um, things are a little bit okay. I've already prepared the grounds for race. <laughs> others, we have some entertainment and others one going on. We have about four regions who have been hosted here. Uh, Western region, central, upper east and upper west. Did you have people coming to give their last minute messages? And are, are your minds made up as delegates at this point before you head to the stadium? <laughs> yes, I think uh, this is the time some of the aspirants as we came around. Uh, that was uh, midnight. They came and then um, to speak to some of us. They came with a lot of jama, where the mura were high. And uh, I know at this time people have made up their minds. And then the other two uh, are here to also make up their minds. I've heard a lot of talk about this exercise going to happen today is a make or break. The party is looking to break the aids. Do you confidently think that the, by the end of today, the executives that will be elected will be capable of doing exactly that? Yes, that is what uh, is most uh, important. They came to rest, some of you came to rest during our uh, virus. Uh, constituencies to speak to race. So I believe we have assessed them. And breaking the age, we need people who are devoted, selfless, and capable of doing the work. It's one of the biggest concerns uh, going into elections like these have to do with some of the delegates, even though their minds are made up, are able to make last minute changes because of what they are told or what they are promised or what they are given. Has there been any such circumstances here since you've been here? Oh, for that one, it's sure. It's sure. People are around and then people are also moved by some of these Petty, petty things, yes, but uh, for us, we have to sit down, identify leaders who help us. So that one day, it's sure people are around waiting for talking and what I covered up so far, but that is not our major concern. We had one of the executives, constituency executives, Christia Hunivali, uh, speaking to us, and there are many of them here. I have to say, I will try and see if I can speak to some more individuals. Let me uh, understand from uh, these. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to TV3. And yeah, um, what's your name, sir? Uh, Elvis Ajayidua. Okay, you're also a delegate. From which region? Yeah, from Western Region. Western Region. Specifically, Christian Hunivali constituency. Wait, so what are your expectations for the day? Um, is your mind already made up for who you are voting for in all of the uh, categories? Yeah, surely I've made my mind. Uh, what I'm, 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 I'm praying for is that the delegate will, will, will vote for somebody who consider the grassroots. Right. And I see some of you have not even slept all night. Uh, you've been awake all night. Uh, what's been the message, the last minute messages the aspirants have been giving to you, those who have been here? What's been that last minute message they've been giving to you for those who have not made your mind? What have they, they been saying, for example? Yeah, you know, that is the, the, the game. Uh, whether you like it or not, you'll be convinced. But uh, it depends on what you have, you, you yourself have considered, right? They've, com they've promised to deliver. Some say they are begging. So it's, it's, it's a part of the game. Nothing is changing your mind. Oh, nothing can change my mind. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to vote. So it's my term that I'm going to use. What would you say to people who have argued that your party is at a crossroads because they are generally very tough economic conditions in the country and that could also affect some of the patterns of the votes that we see today? Oh, I disagree. I disagree. You know, for condition now, it is not only in Ghana. Uh, we know there are so many factors you know, uh, working against the countries. You know, so... MPP, the only thing is that, yes, hardship is there. We, 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 can, we cannot deny. 
but still the party is strong. We need to come together as, as, as people. We need to, we need to uh, uh, speak to people, explain things to people. That is where we are failing as a party. Our communicators sh should be up and doing. Uh, let me speak to one final uh, individual. You say you are the youth organizer for Memphis. Okay, so what's your name? Patrick Asensue Champon. Patrick Asensue Champon. So beyond all the talk that has been ongoing, even last night we understand some of our aspirants were here. What are you looking out for as a delegate heading into today's um, election? All what the people are asking me to do today is to vote for people who are ready to help champion the cause by helping lead MPP in a manner that we will be able to bring the aid. And are these aspirants competent enough to do that, to lead the MPP in your opinion? Of all those who have filed for the various positions, I think each one of them is very, very, very competent enough. What do you make of those who pulled out at the last minute, those who you know, withdrew from the race? Uh, Were they under any pressure to do so? Nobody was coerced, nobody was forced, nobody was under any pressure. Just like in Chi, that I am You look at the aspirants, though they all qualify to be elected to the various positions, but sometimes, just like the shoulders of individuals, at times, others' own may be stronger than the others. So the people did a very nice assessment. They did so well to the party by assessing their chances. You had the, one of the executives at Memphis West is speaking to us. So let me just quickly show you around. See, you, find, you can find the banners uh, still here of the aspirant. You can see uh, Stephen in team. You can see Titus Glover. You can see um, for the position of chairman at Bankwa Yeboa. And, and these are posters and banners that you find when you come to the University of Professional Studies Hostel. And at the far end, which is the entrance, you still see individuals selling party paraphernalia. In front of another hostel, a few meters away from the main UPSA hostel, which also hosted some of the delegates, placards which were prepared for the event today lay in front of the building. And so I can report that out here at the hostel, the delegates are pumped up, they are ready, they say they are willing to go. And they are exactly going to do what they are mandated to do, to cast their vote, to elect executives they feel can lead a party to break the proverbial eight that's been spoken about. <laughs>